What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel again. Welcome back to the vlog. Currently in Far Texas. I am here at a, loca at, at a location called um, Farmers. Yeah, Farmers Best. It's crazy because on the way over here, it's my first time here. On the way over here, um, it was there was there were signs everywhere, everywhere that said no trucks allowed. So I really didn't know what I was just supposed to do, um, and I had to go in through one of the signs that said no trucks allowed because I had to go into to one of the street that said that, drive half a mile in, and then the location was there. So I don't know if that's something that was there old already because I do see the warehouse and the warehouse does look new. So maybe it's something they did and they haven't taken off the signs. I don't know what it is. But it reminded me like I was in New York, like in New York or something. New York has no trucks everywhere as well. So I think nothing ladies and gentlemen. With all that said, I hope you guys are doing good and let's start this vlog. in my door already let me go make sure that uh let me go make sure that the truck is lined up good in the back i always like to make sure guys remember because sometimes if the if the ramps are short they won't fit we are good I did not move my axles back because I went inside the warehouse and they load up with uh, pallet jacks, electric pallet jacks. They don't they don't load up with forklifts. So when they load when they load me up with pallet jacks with electric pallet jacks, I don't move my axles to the front or to the back. Sorry, because what what messes up the floor is when they have when you have the pallet when you have the forklift weight and you have the pallet weight as well. But um, nothing, guys. Just wanted to give an update. Let's see how long they take, hopefully not too, too long. What's up guys, good morning. So last night, made it to uh, Baytown, Texas. No, I did not sleep at the Flying J because I don't want to get robbed again. I slept at the TA across the street. I am here currently now, swapping out my tires again because I saw that it did not make any difference and that the tire is no good. I guess it came with a, with a defect from factory. So I'm swapping them out again so they can keep on eating the same way it was eating before and not mess up the other tire just in case. So with all that said, let me show you guys and after here I want to go have lunch. No, I'm sorry, after here I'm going to go to the cone shop so I can buy uh, four caps that broke off. So stay tuned.
the box that I want. It's seven hundred dollars. Look how nice that is. Clean, clean, clean. Damn. I'm here at the chrome shop. Look at this T bumper. Right here. Playing, no lights. I have bumpers. Let me show you the bumper that I want. This is the square bumper I want, but I don't want it with holes. I want it plain, no holes on it. Like that, square. I like that. This is the steering wheel I like, <clears throat> but it's expensive as hell. I love this. Let me know what you guys think. I love this steering wheel. I want to get it like this, but without the skulls here. I just want to get it like a plain hub in the middle. Um, like that one, maybe. You see how that one has a plain hub? Just like this one, you see? Plain hub. Like, that's a little um, clean design. Not like this, that it has um, skulls. All right, guys, so I'm checking here, make sure that my tire has not been stolen. <laughs> I'm good. So I got some extra lug nuts that I needed because remember I broke off four somehow. And I actually got a smaller one for the quick connects. Let me show you what I'm thinking of doing. These are smaller ones. So I want to do something like this. I want to do something like this. They fit, they fit under, are just a little loose. So what I'm thinking is, put maybe some silicone, not too much, because if it's time to take them off, you don't wanna be stuck with everything full of silicone. Maybe just a little bit of silicone around the outside of the actual quick connect. So once I put that there, it can be stiff and it won't be moving around and water will not get in it. Let me try it, let me see what happens. I'll show you guys in a few minutes. All right guys, so what I was saying is, I left Hammond, Saying it's not happening. I left Baytown, Texas like 40 minutes ago. I just got here now. I'm pumping diesel now. I'm running a little low. So I'm pumping diesel. I'm gonna fill up, my, I'm gonna fill up the, the rig. I'm also gonna fill up the tank, the trailer tank. Um, I left um, Baytown, Texas like an hour ago. I was there all day. I was doing some stuff in the truck. I bought the covers in the chrome shop that I was missing. I also bought covers for here, the whole here. I haven't put them on because I want to give the truck a wash. I don't know if you guys the camera catches it or not, but it is cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. It looks foggy as well. So, I stopped here, like I said. Um, I must, I'm also going to stop in Grove Steady, like three hours and a half away from it, so I can refill up my tanks and so I'm going to have dinner. So, with all that said, let's just stay tuned for the rest of the video. Better than a fresh lemonade. I am here in our gross steady. I just finished pumping diesel and I'm about to have some dinner. So I already ordered. Let me show you what I'm about to have whenever the food gets here. Stay tuned. This looks real good.
pork chop, onions, rice and beans, and some toast. Let me chug this up, because I gotta keep on driving. Next day here guys so I got here last night to Hope Alabama around 5 30 in the morning I got up it's like four o'clock now I got up like around I don't know I want to say 2 30 or something like that three o'clock started cleaning the truck um, I haven't had lunch yet I'm about to I actually got my food right here I'm gonna go warm it up and I'm gonna go eat and after that I'm gonna uh, do my pre-trip inspection and get ready to hit the roll again I have 1092 miles to go that's approximately you know 17 hours and a half more or less for my destination today is thursday as i have plenty of time because this is for sunday at, at 6 a.m and i still have the night of today to drive i have today's thursday like i said i have the night of tomorrow and i have the night of saturday three, three nights to drive 1100 miles that's plenty of time so with all that said, let's go have some lunch and get everything ready, do the pre-trip once I'm done and, and hit the road again. Before I go and I have lunch, I forgot to show you guys the scale ticket when I waited. So I waited the first time and my gross weight is 76,380 pounds. Too much noise. I don't know if you guys can see it, they're good. 76,380 pounds. But my axles were wrong. You see, I have 29 and 100 in the front, and then I have 36,200 in the back. Remember now, I'm only supposed to have 34 in each axle, meaning that I could have 34 in the fifth wheel and 34 in the trailer. So I had to move my I had to move my uh, my axles obviously, and then I reweighed it again, and this is my new weight. I don't know if you guys can see it there good. I hope you can. If you can't, I have 32,900 in my fifth wheel and I have 32,380 in the back. That is perfect because 500, 500 pounds of difference will not make any difference. Plus, I'm in the weight limit on the axles and the gross weight. So, with all that said, let's go have lunch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I had our uh, lunch. I did a pre-trip inspection. We're good to go. I'm heading out right now. Remember, I said that I was in uh, Hope Hall, Alabama. I always, uh, I like to stop here when I come from going to New York from McAllen, Texas, because lately they don't have it, but usually they have the pot roast. And you know, you guys know how much I love the pot roast. now like I said and I want to ask you guys a question but before I ask you guys a question <clears throat> I'm happy first of all I want to thank everybody again for the love for the support man you guys I don't know many years I thought that that you got that I would have you guys watching me and you know looking out and stuff like that um, so I want to you know obviously thank you guys first for that and as well I also want to tell you that I already bought, so I ordered the, I ordered a new camera mount for my uh, head, for the, I think you guys call it the position of view, or something like that, so I ordered one, it goes right here, you mount your camera here, and you guys can see everything that I'm doing um, on a better angle, what else, what else? Um, yeah, so I wanted to ask you guys 
I've seen this a lot. Why is it that people go inside uh, truck stops and they go inside uh, what do they call it? Uh, rest areas, hauling ass. Like why are you going so why why are you going so fast? What's the point of that? Um, there is a speed limit for that, and the speed limit is for you know it's it's, it's there for some reason. I see drivers going in. I see drivers going in, you know, like, you know, I don't know, maybe you have to use your restroom. And I understand if you have to use your restroom, you gotta go, you gotta go. But hey, man, you gotta be careful. And I know, I know that, that in their state of mind, they are being careful, but you can never be too careful when you're driving a truck. And I think that that's where everybody messes up because they get confident they think they have control and in reality, yeah, you do have control, but being careful um, never hurts. <coughs> being careful never hurts. You always gotta be careful 100%. Actually, not 100%, you gotta be careful 200% because you do not know um, what, everybody, what everybody else is thinking. I remember we are all different minds, we all think different. So I can't think that I'm gonna do something, or I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about doing something, and then whoever's watching me is thinking that I'm gonna do something else. And, you know, just, if, you, if, you, if any of you guys are truck drivers, watch your speed when you're going inside the, the truck stop or the rest area because just the other day, it happened to me. You know, I looked at the guy. I didn't tell him nothing. You know I mean? Because the thing is that if you were if you were to to fight with everybody that that does something stupid or something crazy, <clears throat> you will have a bunch of enemies, and you will be fighting in every corner because there's so much that we have to deal with. It's not even funny. I was coming. Up, I was running in front of the trucks. And I was at a, at a pump, right? I went to go with the pump so I could pump fuel, and the guy came. He, he passed. He came in. He came into the. He came in the, the truck stop, and he was going to the parking lot. But he passed through the through the pumps. And I do not care if you go through the pumps. What bothers me is the speed you're going to. Naturally, me. I know that people do that, so I'm always looking out. And I saw a guy, and before he saw me, I stopped. And then once he stopped, once he saw me, he, he stepped on his brakes and he dragged his wheels. You know, that's how hard he stepped on his brakes. And there was no need for that, you know. Because I would have been eating, I would have been eating crap on my phone or something and he would have not seen me. Then there would have been an issue, you know. And it could happen to anybody. And for God's sakes, you know, I, there, there's, there's people that drive with kids. Because when I was a kid, I used to live with my dad the whole time. And you know, as a kid, you know, he's not thinking like we think. I don't know if this makes sense to you, huh? But kids get out of the truck, they see this, they don't see this as a job. They see it more like, um, like they're having fun, you get me? Because I, I remember when I was a little kid, I used, I used to love when vacation used to come so I can leave with my dad on the road. I've been doing this, I've been living, I've been living, I've been leaving with my dad uh, for, since I can remember, you know, it's been so long that, you know, and you have to watch out, you're gonna go through pumps, first of all, you shouldn't be speeding inside the truck stop, and second of all, if you're gonna go through pumps, you gotta be extremely careful, because I've seen people, you know, they, 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 they Everybody, you go, you open your pump, you come in front of you come in front of everybody else's truck, so your truck, so you can pump your diesel. You know, so you have to be extremely, extremely careful. It's not, it's not. It's, 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 this is fun and everything, but it's all fun and games till something bad happens, and that's where we do not want to get. We don't want nothing bad to happen. So, the guys. Um, I'm heading out now, like you saw, like you saw me, I'm leaving, I just left Ronaldo the, the truck stop. I had lunch, it's turning dark already. It's, it's foggy, like yesterday, it's raining, like yesterday as well. It's turning dark already. 
guys know that I like to drive after 4 o'clock. It's like 5.30 now. Uh, that's about it. I am planning on driving at least 400, 500 miles today, maybe 400 miles, which is not a lot. Maybe that's, uh, that's around, I want to say, 7 hours and a half, maybe, one stop. I think that will be good. Because I have, like I said, I have 1,070 miles to go right now. So if I drive 400, I would have gentlemen we are currently in stony creek virginia exit 33 of i-95 i always like to stop here because there's always plenty of room to sleep i shower here you know i always do my stuff here let me share with you guys something i'm such an idiot <laughs> it, it never happens to me to be honest it has, it has never happened but there's always a first time for things like this to happen i'm such an idiot Yesterday when I was pumping fuel last night before I got here, I was pumping fuel. Uh, I want to say like three, 300 miles away, uh, maybe a little less, maybe like 200 miles away. And I was pumping, and then the, the truck stop got started getting full of people. And I didn't want to waste any time, not for me, but for other people. You know, I didn't want to be in the way of them pumping fuel or nothing like that. And I left my left tank, my right tank open. And oh my God, what a mess did it do? Let me show you guys. I started hitting this from what I'm seeing. Look at the mess. Look, look how the water falls on the fender and just drains down. That's because it's full of oil. Because it's full of diesel. And you know diesel contains oil. I'm such an idiot. And I'm sure the half, yeah, the side of my trailer, the same thing. Not too too much, but it has, it has some, it has some. I'm such an idiot. Anyways, with all that, um, I got up now. I'm going to go have lunch. But before I do that, before I have lunch and I take a shower, I'm going to work in the truck. Actually, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put on the center caps that I bought for the wheels on the back. And then I'm going to do the front ones too. And I also want to do the, the caps that I bought for here. I didn't do them the other day because it started raining and... I wasn't gonna get wet, obviously, you know, to do that. So, all that said, let's get to it. Let's get the truck ready. 
so I can head out. I am only 400, 400 miles away from my destination. Today is Friday. I still have today and I have tomorrow. So today, you guys know that I like to drive at night, so I'll probably leave tonight and I'll probably drive, I don't know, maybe 200 miles. If so, get closer. Get closer to my destination just for the hell of it, just because I want to drive. Because in reality, I don't even need to do that. I can stay here and I can leave tomorrow and drive the 400 miles and I'll still be good. But I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see how I feel when I'm done doing this and later on today. So stay tuned. All right, so I went inside and I picked up some hub oil because this side was missing a bit. The other side is good, but this side was missing a little bit. So I'm going to refill it. There's a measurement, guys. You just, don't, you just don't have to pour and pour, you know? There is a measurement. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's dirty now, but that little line you see around it like that, that's where you're supposed to be at when you fill it up. Dirty. I need to get this truck washed ASAP, but I have to get unloaded first. I have to get unloaded and, and leave the, the risk of being snowed. So Bozo is going to snow in New York. So there you go. It's on the line. I don't know if you guys know. It's too dark. Won't be able to see it. But it's on there. On the mark line. So I wasn't able, I wasn't able to put on the back. I wasn't able to put on the back covers because either they gave me the wrong ones or I don't know what it is. He told me measure from one point to the other point and that's eight and a half. So both of the ones he gave me are eight and a half, but when I try putting them on, they're too, too tight. I know they're supposed to be tight. He told me they're supposed to be tight and I knew that already. And I'm supposed to tap it, you know, on the side so it won't, you know, so it can go in. But when I do that, I'm messing them up. So I don't want to keep messing the other ones up to put them on because then what's the point of that? So I have to go and, and recheck when I go back to Texas, make sure he gave me the right ones. And I'll, I'll, you know, I'll show it to him, look, look, this is what's happening so he can know, you know? Because if you tap it, Lightly, it will not go in at all. And if you tap it too hard, then you'll, you'll, you'll do a, a dent on it. So that was the point of it, you know? So I did not, I wasn't able to put that on. I was able to put on the front ones, let me show you. I have to come and do this one now, but I did this, I did this side. I like the way it looks. The only thing I'm thinking is when it's time to check your hub oil, it's going to be a mission to take that off. So that's another issue that I'm looking at, you know. But um, I guess we'll figure it out and, uh, when it's time for that, you know. So once I'm done doing the other side, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the nut covers in the back where the hoses go. See the little black tabs, you're supposed to put them in place like that. But then... The tab has, see the camera catches it, has a, like a little leg, I don't know if you see it there, you see it, has like a little leg right there, that that is what holds on to the rim, so once the rim falls behind this, to take it off, it's so flush that I don't even know how it's going to happen, but we'll see. When it's time to take it off, we'll see what is it that I gotta do. So you're supposed to put them on like that. See? Look at the little legs. See, once that goes inside the rim to come out back, it's gonna be super, super complicated because I don't see any place where you're supposed to stick some type of screwdriver or something so it can you know, come down, come out or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens.
right, ladies and gentlemen. So I just had a salad here at the Wendy's. I was gonna have I was gonna have the salad at Denny's because they do a really good chicken season salad. <clears throat> but it is closed for some reason. So like I was saying, um, I am 400 miles away from my destination. That's like seven hours and a half away. But I am not gonna drive that all today. I have plenty of time. I can actually stay here and leave tomorrow and still be there on time. But I'm gonna do that. I feel good, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna drive. I don't know, maybe 200 miles, 250 miles. You know, four hours, something like that. So, four hours or something. I don't think I'll, I'll go. I don't think I'll drive more than that. So nothing. With all that said, let's just stay tuned for the rest of the trip.
previous clip I was able to unload my appointment was actually for 8 a.m. They called me way earlier, way in advance of time. They called me at 4 a.m. I was able to get unloaded. By the time I got out of there, it was like 6 a.m. to be honest. But um, doesn't matter because I was, was still early and I had, was able, there wasn't no traffic at all. And I was able to jump the bridge and come into New Jersey without any issues. I am currently here in Vincent Lombardi, the rest area. It's Sunday, I'm gonna be here till tomorrow, see where does the day take me. Um, I'm planning on picking up a load to Miami. I don't have nothing yet. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be looking to see what is it that I find. With all that said, I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and keep on trucking.